Welcome to my apiary. Today is Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's uh, 13 C when I left the house. Uh, it's not early though. Um, really tired, having a hard time getting going, but I don't like to start when it's cool anyway. Uh, yesterday was my day of rest, again this week, so I didn't do an update yesterday. Um, it wasn't really all that restful, uh, quite the contrary in some contexts. Our power went out at 3 a.m. and it didn't come back on until 1 p.m. I, I don't sleep when there's no power. And so I had to get up and I got the generator out, got everything hooked up, keep the fridges and the freezers going. And then of course, you know, the essentials, the coffee maker, the internet, stuff like that. Just the things you can't live without. <laughs> so 28 nukes here. 28 nukes here I need to make. I want to make five more, but 28 is my, uh, 28 is my goal. Uh, tomorrow is said to be a nice day too. I can make my five. But uh, that's that's the goal here today. So try and show you a little more about this than I often do. Um, uh, the shorts came out today, so it's a uh, day I'm maybe going to get stung in the legs a lot. Well, that might be entertaining. There's one on my arm right now. Anyway, got to tie into this. Stick around. Okay, it looks like a beautiful day to make nukes. Got this little wagon. I bought this for my wife a number of years ago for gardening. And it turns out we're not really gardeners. We got space here, but that's it. We got no ambition for it. So I'm trying to find queens. Yeah, so I decided to try out the little wagon for sitting on while I'm looking in hives there's a there's a big drone walking around there I'm glad to see I'm getting drones season's very late but things are happening better late than never of course some nice brood frames here that'll definitely be a candidate for my split once I find the queen, the wax is nice and soft. Oh, the heat coming out of that colony is remarkable. Apovar is due to come out soon, Tuesday I think. I may leave it in for the extended, optionally extended treatment period because of the lack of warm weather we've had the bees have not been you know stretched out and making good contact with the apovar which is another another week another week is the extended period these uh colonies aren't hurting for honey supers anyway so it's not going to hurt anything to stay on, and it probably do them nothing but good. In the uh, in the Varroa mite category, I can often see the queen very quickly, so I don't want to spend too much time on each frame. Temperature is reasonable today. It's not very windy. There's a little breeze coming from my back. So I'm blocking that a bit. And just as I say that, the wind says, hey, don't discount me, because I'm here. Don't you worry. Yes, yes, wind, I know you're there. I thought we were out of the nest, but there is a little patch of brood on that, just up in the top of that one. A lot of pollen. Oh, it's good to see the pollen. Thought I saw the queen, but I guess not. 
It's good to see the pollen. I've not been overwhelming my colonies with supplements this spring. Holy smokes, that's heavy. It's all feed. It's all feed. Yeah. No problems there. Okay. Get some of this comb off of there. Okay, we'll go back through it. My wife was helping me last week with this. She'll be out here a little bit later on today. She got some things to do. I'm always thankful for her help. Any time she can give me. She works a full-time job, you know, and I can't expect her to be putting in time on my job. This is my choice. I chose this job. Do my best to do it myself. Always thankful to get any help, though. If some friends come and help once in a while. Very grateful. Uh, sometimes people want to come and sit and do bees, you know. That's good. I get that. I want to sit and do bees, too. I don't think this queen is going to be marked. So, I got that against me right now. It's a good day for flight. There's a lot of flight here. They're kind of just getting going, though. It'll ramp up over the next few hours. Really time-consuming way to make splits. I really wish I could do it my preferred way. It's so much quicker, but it's too cold. I mentioned that to my mentor last night that I wasn't doing it that way because it's too cold, and he agreed. He said, you're right, That's it's too cold to do it that way. So I do it the hard way. I don't mind finding these queens. I can mark them when I find them, just uh, with the season. Everything is so hurried. You, you know, we'll get three weeks of rain and then two days to work bees. Try to make the best of it. I know I'm fussing with this box, but get it cleaned up a bit. The, the wax is soft. How long before I get stung in the fingers? I will get stung in the fingers. I always do. Usually later in the day, start to hurry and get tired and not quite as attentive. I start pinching bees on the frames. Just a pile of bees there waiting for them to clear so I can see what they're hiding. They're not hiding a queen. nice brood frames. I don't really expect to see the queen on them, but yeah, she is, and she's marked too. Okay. I have to decide what I want to take. What's this one look like? Not a whole lot. So I'll go the other way. I'll just leave her. She's marked. I don't need to remark her. The mark is in good shape. So I'll take what I take is uh, just making one frame here. And... I'll take a decent frame of brood, which that's actually not bad. It's older and younger. And I don't want that. Oh, see? Got stung in a finger. Ow. Oh. There. I'll just swivel around, put this frame in the box. And then I'm going to shake a frame in there. Slam the lid. And then do that 27 more times. Okay, we'll put this brood nest back together. Put this strip back here. That's a heavy feed frame. This one was next, I think. It's also a heavy feed frame. Story frame. It's not much on the story frame. There's a little bit of drone. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put an empty here, and she can lay in that. Well, that's a nice empty comb. Actually, it's got a little bit of pollen in there. 
which is very good for them, of course. Okay. That's it. They want this little pollen patty back again. Button them up. So if that queen is not marked well, or not marked at all, I'll just catch her and give her a new mark. I don't know that I'll split this one. You see this patty, they haven't eaten much of it. And to me, if they're not eating patty, they're not brooding. So I'm gonna put that back together. I gotta come and collect these pails too. This one doesn't look extremely strong either. Uh, maybe okay. It's a bee flying around my face, just giving me what for. Story frame looks good. Lots of drones, lots of workers, and a queen. <laughs> And she's well marked too, so trouble is, get another frame or two out of there. Just so I can isolate that queen without moving her, without touching her. I like those stands I have. They, uh, they're, uh, they're higher. I can lean the frame there without, without being in the way when I want to move the frames in the box. Well, that's a nice frame of brood and that's not a nice frame of brood. That's what I don't like about these plastic frames is they warp and then one side of them is is too close to the other frame and they don't draw it out so they don't raise brood there. Pretty nice on that side, and really nice on that side. So that's my frame. And we'll get a shake. Nice shake of bees. i go after the legs when I do that. Put it empty. I think I'll put the empty right there. And she can move back over from the story frame over this way and lay that frame up. Okay, that's two. I'd say the little wagon is a win. I'd be just as happy with a stool that has a seat on it. It's, it's kind of nice, I guess. It swivels. They're not even on that syrup. Okay, it looks like a strong enough colony. But they haven't finished that patty. A bit of mold on the paper. Not a big deal. Very soft. Very warm in these colonies. These hives, I guess, would be the terminology there. The colony is warm. And the hive is warm too. Two frames out is nice. Oh, it's a room to work. Oh, sorry. Hope I didn't knock the queen off or something. They're storing that syrup in there. That's nice when you see the queen on the first or second frame, and there she is. <laughs> She's not even marked. Pick her up. The marking tool is getting really dirty. Very hard to see 
who's in and who's not. Is there a queen in there? That was a 20, so that's uh, blue. Do you know how you remember your color code for your different years? Remember the little, the little line, will you raise good bees? And if you start with one or six, with will, will is W, white is W, W is white. White, yellow, red, green, blue. So you can count from one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And this is two. So will you is yellow. So white was yes yesterday. <laughs> white was last year. And year before was will you raise good blue? Was uh, twenty. Uh, or 20. This is a 20 queen. So it's blue. 21 was white. So now we we can choose brood frames and shake with impunity. Not the greatest brood frame in the world, but it's not the worst either. We'll go with that one. Give them a nice shake of bees. See, notice I'm not using tons of smoke. Well, because I want the bees on the frames. I'm going to stand up for this. They really get on my legs a lot. It kind of freak me out. I'm going to go one more little shake. There's lots of bees on this one, so we'll just do a light shake on that one. Slam the lid, and that's number three. So I'll get a replacement frame. Okay. Got two frames there that can go on the outside of the story frame. I'll put the empty just inside the story frame. And we'll be golden. Give them this patty back. Hopefully they can make use of it. Oh, come on. Bloody pails. Look like they're hardly doing me any good at all. Even. And a queen. We have a nicely marked. Oh, I gotta wash this thing. I can't hardly see through it at all. There's a queen in there, right? Oh, yeah, there she is. Hard time getting a queen off of these. They like to climb around on the outside of the cage. Well, she's not there, so I assume she went down. Okay. There's one more. See, I lift up a heavy pail. I'm not encouraged. So I'll kind of have a look before I get too settled in. I can see a patty from here. Yeah, they're not, they're not split material. to get myself an empty beforehand okay I should have a different empty because this has no story frame I just like to have story frames in everything so I'll replace the one I take with a story frame I think I have some over there not wickedly strong it's not do they have to be split, it's will they tolerate being split at this point. Just trying to maximize bees this year. Helping people out. 
Perfect storm. Perfect storm this year. Everybody's bees died. And then the spring is so late that the bees don't build up, so there's no replacements. Just heartbreaking. I don't know why I was spared. It's not because of anything I did. But I was spared, so... Just trying to give back here a little bit. And all the old... The old saying there, but by the grace of God go I. Well, that's exactly what applies in this case. Because it weren't, it weren't because of my brilliance and diligence or anything. Just the grace of God is why I didn't get wiped out. And I definitely want to honor that. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. I've had so few days this year, this season, to uh, work bees. There she is. Nice big white, white dot there. Okay, so again, what do I do? I'll leave her in the middle there. Is this a brood frame that I can take? Yes. Oh, look at that. It's my best brood frame. I shouldn't touch those with my fingers. I just want to know where she is. Can't see her again. See, they get that cloaking device that Mike Palmer talks about. Let's turn on that cloaking device right away. Okay, these can all go there. get a story frame okay there's a few things going on here with this one this is a really nice strong queen and not only that but she's a 2020 queen so she's lived her two winters so she's good at wintering that's nice and I think I want to breed off of this this summer this is just that that step ahead of, of everything else this box is chock full of bees. If I wasn't splitting it, it'd definitely get a second at this point. So I'm doing a couple different things here. You see this this green frame. This isn't a story frame. This is a drone frame, so it's 100% drone comb, and it's drawn. So I've slotted that in there, and the reason is then she'll lay that right up with drones, and. Uh, then then they will emerge and, and become uh, kind of flood the area with as many of those drones as I can I can get off of this with past genetics for my for my queen mating later on those drones will be good for my July mating so they won't be they won't be ready for a month I shall lay that up and they'll they'll come out for my July mating and this is this is my favorite way to split but it's not that warm out. Because this is a strong colony, I'm confident that they can stand this maneuver. Okay, so what I've done is I've pulled up uh, actually five frames that have brood on them, and I put them over here in this box. And yeah, one of them, one of them is the story frame, so, but that doesn't matter. The story frame is not going with the split. Uh, I'll probably take two splits here, uh, two frames for splits, the other frames are just there to draw bees up. Once it takes the splits, those frames will go back down into the bottom box. Okay? Story frame is right full, right full of worker brood, right full of drone brood. She's feeling so good, she's actually putting drones on the bottom of the frames. So I'm going to smoke these down a little bit. I couldn't find the queen. Went through a couple times. This is a hive I'm not confident the queen is marked. Uh, but I am confident that the queen is high quality. So I'm going to try to, gonna try to uh, do some grafting off of this one. So we'll get queen excluder. Yeah, it's a plastic one. It's all kind of wonky, but they work. And I'm going to put the camera down and then I'll lift, I'll lift this box. 
up over here. Okay, so now I have a double. And it's not gonna be on here very long, so I'm not concerned about filling this space, to be honest. Um, you know, maybe I should. It's still not super warm, but I think it's warm enough for this to be okay. Now I'll button this up here. And the lid. I to do all this with one hand. Okay. All right, so that'll be ready. You know, that might be ready for me today because I've got quite a few to go yet. I'll be here a number of hours. Uh, even if it's not, it'll be ready tomorrow. Uh, I would like to do it today because then it doesn't have to sit in a double overnight because the nights are still cool. Uh, they're not nearly as cold as they have been, but uh, they are pretty cool. So we'll see. I'll check it later on about my last one. I'll, I'll come and check that and perhaps pull pull two splits off of that. As the 23rd of May, 2022. Yesterday was just such a gorgeous day. I worked here and made 28 nukes. I made 26. There's two here. The brood is in this box. Put it in there and take care of everything and that's my 28. And that makes my 100. Very stoked about finishing that project. Um, I mean, there's more steps yet regarding the queen introductions, etc., etc. But the hard work is done. I didn't bring my tripod, so your view isn't exactly the greatest. Hopefully, they're not going to nail me too bad. I'll tip this up, hopefully. I can show you what's in here. I've got four frames. I've got four frames of brood in here. Two of those, uh, two or three of those are going back in the bottom. And the other's just gonna be shakes here. So that's a decent, you know what, that's a shake. Frame. Yeah, that's a good frame. Whoa, look at that. That's a really good frame. Put that in there. Take this one. Climb the lid. I'm gonna use that one for weight. That looks like a nice one too. Pretty good on that side. Them a shake. Oh, up my pants. All right. So that was the easy part. The harder part is I need to put these three back in the bottom. see something. So one of these frames up here is my story frame. So I want to get that back in position. I don't remember where my placeholders are. It looks like this is one of them. And that's another one. That's a feed frame. This is a Too, with an apple bar strip stuck to it. I'm gonna get my story frame. A bee stung me right in the right in the bomb. That kind of stings. I guess that's why they call it a sting. And I've got two more. So. Oh.
bees in here. Down a little. Okay, so those two are going back to the building, and they'll get uh, they'll get a uh, queen each in a cage. Okay, nothing special here. Just got my little pro nuke. Gonna pull some brood from these colonies, and these are these are gonna be queenless splits. So I may pull one frame of brood from this colony. I may pull another one from that colony. Uh, these are actually new, but I think they're doing pretty good and uh, co combine those together and they're fine. There's no queen in there for them to kill or anything. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna introduce one of my, my caged queens there. Uh, I'm gonna actually make six of these because I'm gonna make one with, uh, with one of my existing 2021 local queens. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably not gonna video this. I don't have my tripod and uh, it's the same as what I've been doing. So it's not very interesting.